Hello everyone, welcome back to Lazarus Gaming and Osiris New Dawn. Uh, this game still apparently in early access even though I've owned it for at least a couple of years I think. So I have no idea how it's still in your access. But it's still being worked on so as long as it's still being worked on, who cares. So the last when we logged off uh, for episode one, dropping. yep, we had just set up a temporary camp near. Is that going to continue rolling down the hill, or is he stopped now? Uh, we set up a temporary camp near a source of water. I think it was this way. Yeah, uh, it's this beautiful looking lake. There we go. So this is going to be where we set up our home base now. And I think we're going to build our main structures here. We just got ourselves the habitat plan. Um, so I'm thinking over there. I don't want to build down there because there's a source of animals there. So we can keep killing them and they keep coming back hopefully. Um, but I'd rather have the option of killing them or leaving them alone. Um, and this seems like quite a good spot so let's go ahead and find out what we need for our first building uh, which is going to be this the habitat uh, so that needs quite a lot okay our first building is, uh, thing is actually going to have to be a furnace um, so that we can get so let's dump this here um, just because that other campsite is going to become abandoned and this one will be where we're doing all of our work so I'll probably set this area here as a work area and the habitat will be over here I want to be able to expand the habitat out though so we just got a ton of engineering stuff there that's cool okay there we go so now we can create aluminium and you just literally click the icon that is blue until it does that annoying noise and it will just go through and create all of your various things and we're going to need to create a let's get some meat we're going to want to make steel I think um, we need the forge not the furnace for steel but we can make glass with this but we need to make the spade for the glass and I think we also need the forge for glass uh, for the spade so what we're going to do is um, we're going to have a quick look in here and this is the one we want the forge and that needs titanium, plutonium and iron all of which I think we have got made here so let's just take some of these take that one that one um, what's that? copper, meat ok let's take the meat I thought we had a couple of meat no uh, we'll take that uh, we don't have plutonium I thought we'd picked up some plutonium at some point. Maybe I was wrong. Copper, iron, lead, magnesium. Hmm, interesting. I could have sworn we got plutonium. For, ah, I stored it away, didn't I? Because uh, it was important. I didn't want to lose it if I died. So let's just go to our temporary. Uh, what the hell's our temporary camp? There we go. Go here and just check the boxes, see what we've got. Um, and what we're probably going to have to do anyway is just go off wandering around and find stuff. Um, start mining some stuff. There we go, we're at seven. Um, I dropping. don't think that's going to be enough to be able to make the forge. No, we can only get two. Okay, um, I think we need four. Take 
and I uh, sort of look. Um, so like, no, we haven't done it. So I need titanium and two more plutonium. So I need to find a titanium source as well. Um, titanium is a bit of a harder stone to find. So um, what we might do is see if the mine. What we we'll do is create a couple of storage units. Um, I keep this area as a storage area. Actually, that's quite a good idea. Keep it away from the main structure. Uh, we still can't make a depository though, which is annoying because that's got forty. Need seven more aluminium. Okay, let's do some farming and get some aluminium. I want to avoid those little those mobs because I'm pretty sure they can kick my ass uh, with a rock. <sighs> Christ, now I can't find anything to harvest. So we want aluminium, so there's sun down there, I think. Unless that's a bush. That's a bush. Oh, there's more up there. So what we'll just do is we'll harvest a few of these. Let's get this one. Uh, just keep an eye on these things because they dropping. Pretty sure this rock isn't gonna be any good against them. Okay, got more aluminium there. This rock's giving out by everything. Ah brilliant, and more plutonium. Perfect. So let's go and find a couple more rocks. Let's just do some bashing. Yeah, tons up here. There we go. Great. Uh, we will need to try and find titanium. Uh, I'm not sure where to look for that actually. Um, that could just be a case of exploring, so we might just go do the mine quest and maybe there'll be some titanium in the mine. Oh, great, getting attacked. Young, seek medical assistance immediately. Lee looking thing. Lucky critical hit off of that, I think, because uh, I'm just a bit of health on that one. Let's kill that. Get that. Okay, this should be lead or carbon? Lead. Okay, more lead. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I actually don't know what lead is for. You know, I'm assuming it's for maybe the defensive structures, the more like heavy duty defensive structures or something. I don't know. I'll have to uh, scroll through the buildings later on and see. Uh, but for now, oh yeah, so here you go, loads of skeleopod stuff. So this is what I mean, you don't need to worry about actually collecting these from animals, like killing anything on the planet, because everything is available to you when you're running around uh, that I've found. There's nothing in particular you have to kill or do to get stuff. Most of it is already on the planet's surface. So, um, and we're overweight, so we need to uh, store in my life. Um, to get enough to create a depository um, what did I need so we need iron and aluminium um, we should have plenty of that now let's put this into default mode um, you can see where I've been injured like my suit looks weird um, that's actually the game that's not um, my graphics card or anything causing that. That's how you look when your suit starts to deteriorate and your health starts to deteriorate. Um. Seek medical assistance so we just want to eat a few of these. Get our health up a bit. The alien meat is actually great for this. Alien meat recovers your health a huge amount. Um, and five. The suit, then need to repair the suit. There we go, and bandages, so well, the rest of that. Uh, so let's just make a couple more bashing rocks. 
we will just run down and see what that um, those meteorites dropped in the way of ore and make it a bit easier. So we'll just spin this and then we'll run over there and see what they dropped. Hopefully there's some titanium in it, but I seriously doubt it. I don't think I've come across anything like that before on a meteor. Okay. Uh, was it up the top or was it down here? So, in the previous game, this I think is the same as most of the other games I've played. I don't know if you just start in a different area or if you. Um, if this is the same thing in everything, this one, because it's always called the the basin, whatever the basin's called, home mode basin or whatever. Um, damn it! Where did those meteors smash into? Um, maybe up here. No, I don't know where they smashed into. I can't find them. I shouldn't pay more attention. Um, doesn't matter, we'll just keep going. Hello everybody, so once again our computer is garbage and it crashed uh, while we were recording um, so we are and then I had some things I had to get done so it's actually a couple of days later now uh, so I can't really remember what I was doing during the when I crashed last time um, I think we were just looking at starting to build a habitat so once we get in I'll have a look where we are and see what we're doing um, and I'm going to try and salvage the video and merge them together and see what we can get so I think we would found a fairly decent site above a lake that's right and so we just had our temporary camp done and we were about to start putting a new yeah okay so we're overweight um, so, so look I think our camp's over that way somewhere near that tree from memory um, I'll just jump up and have a look from a higher point uh, and let's have a look at the map okay so our respawn point is over that way somewhere so Three, 300 meters that way so I think yeah we're just by that tree okay so let's go dump a lot of this stuff that we've got um, taking up our entire pack and check out what we need for the habitat once we've got back and emptied everything and we might need to make a couple of small debris containers until we get the ability uh, until we can make the larger ones that hold 10 items or t oh that's 40 items sorry the debris ones hold 10 ah that's right yeah because I remember saying I didn't want to build down there because I didn't want to have to kill off all those animals constantly so we are the other side of that I think I can see our camp there These ones, I don't know if these are aggressive or not, but I'd rather just leave them alone for now. I'm, they look pretty hard, they've got hard shells, and I've only got a rock really, so I don't want to be fighting these. Let's get some speed up. Let's 
our personal assistant rolling down the hill because it's run out of batteries. Never mind. Alright, so this one's 90% full, so let's chuck something in there. Ah, okay, so I'm carrying a lot of this. Alright, um. Yeah, let's offload that. Let's offload that. Uh, we've got more cloth. Um, and we're going to need to build a new one. So let's just go F3. Let's see if we can build the full one yet. No, we still need aluminium, but I have aluminium on me. So let's go forge the aluminium nuggets into bars and we'll make a proper massive storage point. Yeah, great. But, oh, tons of aluminium. Iron. Let's just get all these done. And we've got three of those. Uh, and magnesium. Got like ten in there, I think. Oh, different alien meats. Okay. So I'll we'll just wait for these to finish. So the lead's done. Which one's lead? That one. And some engineering points. Brilliant. So this is this is what I mean about the engineering points. They're so easy to come by. You, it, literally crafting um, ore from nuggets into ingots gets you engineering points. Uh, so that tree is so easy and fast to complete. Um, and just really max out. Uh, you don't need to make any effort with it. The the science one is the one that's um, a slower tree to fill in my in my opinion in, in my experience the way I but that much might be the way I play. So we should easily be able to make um, one of those deposit the depositories. So the different different ores seem to take different times to complete as well. Um, like aluminium is quite a bit faster. What's going on here? Aluminium seems to quite a lot faster than the others. Um, and there's one of these that goes incredibly quickly. Right, so um, I think I said I was going to make the storage area up here. I kind of think I want to keep it in sight of the base, so I might make the storage area just here instead and just have a little storage utility area. Um, so let's just flick this around and let's put it there. I'm not too worried about filling this one up to um, full health because it shouldn't get attacked. The only thing that happened to it is maybe a creature will come up here and attack it. But the um, I'm more interested in just getting it made and reserving some of these components. Um, so we saw gas bubbles over the other side, so I'm going to take these canisters with me for those. Um, we'll leave that in there, take that. Uh, we'll get rid of the multi-tool, because it uh, cannot be removed from your inventory. Annoying. Um, 
we'll stick the carrots in there for now. Let's we'll stick those in there for now. And we will chuck all of these in here because we don't want to be carrying any of this stuff around. Wish there was a way to just like right click so that it moved it across to the other side. It, it doesn't move well, just by right clicking on it. It's, it's a little bit annoying. I'm going to manually do each one, like drag and drop. Um, so maybe a later date they'll add that in. Um, or maybe I'm just special and I don't realise that you can do it already. Um, we'll drop the water. Mm. No, we'll take the water. We'll take all that with us. Um, we'll leave the barrier there. Though. Um, and we've got meat, so we'll drop the potato in there as well. Okay, so now that we're unloaded, let's go and find the commander in the mine Baylor. So switch to our rock. Actually, um, where is our weapon? I might grab our sword just because the mine has um, quite a few mobs in it um, I think probably would lose if we try and fight them uh, I'll take the gun out the sword there's a sword here somewhere I'm sure yeah okay we'll take that sword Bit of a dust storm, but we know where we're going. We're going this way. So let's just run. This is a good experience for when the world ends and we have to start living on our base skills <laughs> uh, I'll be in a sorry state uh, I'll probably starve to death in the first couple of days uh, where is it? I saw it in a parasite let's just go kill it because I'm pretty sure let's wait for the other one just one this time okay uh, we went on, we lost a rock, so let's just grab the next one. So this is a this is actually a great area of uh, us to have started in. And we've definitely got um, a lot of good resources around this area. Um, titanium seems to be the only thing we're missing. Yeah, we'll grab a rock to replace that one we just lost. And we'll fill up, fill up the tank. And one of these, grab that. Chuck on another for now. Chuck on another for now. So let's see how much we get from this one. So two F. Nice. And the next one. Nice. And the next one. Oh, that's brilliant. Three for three. A lot of oxygen in that is still going as well. So I'll run onto the mine. 190 points away. Oh, urchins. Those. Right, so now we have to actually be careful where we're running in case we run into those urchin shells and rip our suit. So I just need to keep an eye on the floor a bit more. Just be a bit more careful. Not running around blindly. I think that's the line there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I'm travelling into there.
Alright, so... Uh, it's a little bit dark, so we'll just flick on our torch. And you get your torch by pressing L. Which I think is short for lamp. Uh, so sample racks, nothing in them. Yeah, can do anything with that. I think, yeah, here we go, power. No, did it turn on or not? What? Oh, yeah, that must have worked. Okay. Some crates, empty. Empty. Hmm. These had things in them. Okay, so there's some copper, some carbon, a bit more copper. Right there. Some copper and carbon. And I guess because it's a mine. Ooh. Empty. Empty. Damn it. <coughs> it would be nice to have some weapons or something in there. But never mind. So what we're doing is we're looking for the commander in mine belt. I don't know why that says 1900 meters away. That must be a bug, I think. Let's just check our quests. Find the commander in Bale. That's weird. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the sword down and switch to F3 and make a new rock. F2. So I like to leave rocks in my inventory but I also like to leave an extra one built um, just in case I forget to rebuild them and I'm hitting a lot of stuff and then I get attacked and my last remaining rock breaks I can just quickly jump into the inventory and move it down rather than having to try and make a new one it's always uh, open small one open samples yeah. there's nothing power, turn on power, I didn't do anything by the looks of it random Ammo boxes, brilliant. Now all I need is a gun. So look, none of these things have anything in them. Nah, speaking of, there we go. Can I get that top one? Oh, that's much better. Look at that. Batteries, barrels, lithium. Oh, so hard to get. That's brilliant. Plutonium and diamonds. I don't know what the diamonds are for. Um, I'll have to have a look through the recipes and see if I can find what that one is at some point. What that uses. Because I've picked up them diamonds before. Quite a few of them from mining I think. And I've never found anything to actually use them for. So good, good amount of resources for survival here. Cloth, tape, bandages, batteries, that's a good haul. I'm starting to feel like we're probably going to get attacked shortly. So, okay, so that's the commander there. Um, by the looks of it. So power up the knack using new power supply. And let me just change that. Yeah, that new quest isn't there for some reason. It's strange. Um, so I don't know what that quest, where that quest is. Might have to leave the camp to find that. Ooh. But in the meantime, we'll just harvest whatever's in here. Copper. Okay, uh, 
there's a few more. I'm gonna grab all of these while we're here. I think copper's quite abundant anyway, but um, I don't think it's in our immediate area where we are at the moment. So, um, good to pick up all this stuff now. Um, I think this stuff hangs out near where like all the titanium and stuff is. Uh, I thought I just heard something. I just have to turn the game up slightly on my headset because I'm pretty sure in here something was bound to attack me. I know the initial base at night has a... I'll actually show you if it's at night. Um, I'll go to the base. Uh, it's quite scary. <laughs> Initially when I got attacked by them. Um, scared the crap out of me. Uh, the marines that are dead there turn into ghosts and just start screaming at you and attacking you. Uh, it's a bit mental. So that looks like all of the deposits here. So I think I've emptied out this whole cave now. So head back out. Um, he's the same guy we ran into before. Yep. Stuff. See what else is in there. Um, yeah, I knew there'd be something new. Come at me, bro. Have you? Thank you. Ah, oh, two hitter. Oh shit! That's two big things there. So let's just. Uh, Let's just have a look at these crates while we're waiting for them to just chill out over there. Nice. Nothing. Annoying. Nice. Why is that one empty? Okay. And one more. Ah, an inflatable dome kit. Brilliant. So we can create a portable habitat. We are going to get overburdened soon, so we're not just running out of this guy. There's another one over here. Let's go. Sweet. This one dead, I think. Uh, hard to tell because he looks like he just disappeared completely. through the wall. Okay, I definitely got one of them. I don't know about the other one. It looked like it just disappeared through a wall. That's so random. Is he dead? Is that dead? Hmm. Okay. Nothing in there. Lithium. Brilliant. We like that because that's hard to find. Can definitely hear something. Don't know if it's just me. Okay, that's nothing. This should be carbon. Yes. Definitely not imagining it. I'm hearing things moving. Great, how heavy are we? 
A1 of 108. Uh, let's just increase our health Bottles a bit. Dropping. And increase that. And let's increase these two. And then put the other two into there like that. Sweet. That gives us a bigger carry weight there as well. Uh, so we've got 100. Oh, I need something else here. I knew there was another one. I could hear it. I wasn't imagining it. And there's that one that disappeared into the wall. Oh, I think they respawned. That's what it is. Possibly. Uh, I don't know. And that bloody slivering thing's disappeared again. Um, I don't know if that was. Did I get that before? I'm sure I harvested this. Yeah, so I think they've just respawned. There's one there as well. So I'm not gonna s just hang out here getting my ass kicked by it, because eventually I'll actually die. Just ignore them and run back. It's a shame the resource crates don't refill when you bloody. Oh, okay, so our health's taking a hit. Yeah, resource crates don't fill up again, so let's see the ammo box filled up. No, no. Just the mobs come back, that's it. So I still can't turn this power. Okay, let's eat some meat and uh, uh, our health. Uh, and we'll go down into this area here, which for some reason we missed. I don't know if the door just opened, that's where all these things are coming from. Dropping. Right, where's that other bloody... Where is he? There he is. Sometimes. Damn it. He went into the wall. Uh. That's a good wall in this place, actually. Considering some of these things are empty, it's actually um, not a bad, bad swag. I think the last game I was playing, I actually haven't bothered coming to the mine at all yet, so uh, I've just been harvesting stuff and building things. I should have actually come here because there's tons of resources to pick up that uh, are quite useful. I can't work out if the mobs come when you're hitting stuff because they come to the noise or if they just come regardless because they just happen to be in the area or something so once we've got this we'll get the hell out of here there's obviously nothing in here to do. It's just an empty room. Um, can't run up Bottles here. dropping. Um, and I think I don't know if we have to power up something in here or something somewhere else. Um, let's have a look at this computer and see if this computer works. There we go. 
Ah, so there we go. So now we can access the something. Knack from mine boulder located. Access knack from mine boulder completed. Finding Magni. Unlock new mission. Okay, so I've got a new mission. I still can't turn that on. Okay, so find mine Magni. Okay, so the next mission is to go to the other mine. So we can leave here. So I don't know where, I don't think I've ever been to Mine Magni in any of the games I've played when I've played this previously. Um, I think the Mine Baylor is the only mine I've been to. So I don't know, this is all new from this point on. Um, but what we might try and do now is see if we've got enough materials to build ourselves a little bit of a habitat and, and get our Vital fixed dropping. structure first fixed structure built um, so we've got the new quest there find mine magni it's 2000 meters away so what we'll do though is we will just go to our respawn point um, and oh yeah I just can't just run around because we'll watch out for these things We rip our suit to pieces. Uh, so let's just run this way. And I might tap this tree for a bit and see what it gives me. Uh, hmm. An infant gnat. Jesus, I would not like to see a large gnat. Excellent. That was easy. They were actually really easy to kill. So there's another one there. I might grab him as well in a minute. So let's just knock this tree a bit and see what we get from it. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Yeah, this tree must be too large to actually do anything. Okay. Let's check this one to see if it was the tree or if it's no. Yeah, it's definitely the tree. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have you, mate. And that's. Borderline mosquitoes, I uh, hate them. And we got a player stat increase there. I think probably something combat wide. As we've just killed somebody. Uh, where are we? 400, 400 meters away. Uh, I don't think there's any more of those urchins around this section, so we should be okay to just Vitals run through. Dropping. Um, what the hell's our base? So, um, looking for war. Oh, it must be over there on that ridge. Oh, uh, God, there's a spider crab. I'm trying not to fight too many because I don't want to lose this sword um, in case I actually need it for something serious later on. So I'm just going to skirt around most of these mobs. Unless they actually attack me. What we are going to do though is salvage that satellite, which looks like it's got glass and everything on it, which would be brilliant. And just check the other side of this ridge to make sure we're not running up on some other creature while we're doing this. That looks good. Okay, so we'll just harvest this. And we are always keeping an ear out for the sandworms because they will just suddenly appear out of nowhere, out of the ground. Okay, you have to get, it's funny, you have to get like the right spot to actually damage these things sometimes. So like, there we go. It seems to be close to the edges, that's, that's where it likes to be hit. Uh, 
Let's see where else to. That must be in there. I don't know nothing. Yep, there. Vital swapping. So that looked like there was still two pieces, two or three hits left on it there. Uh, maybe it's buried in the ground and I can't see it. I don't think I've missed anything though. There's no red lines coming up. So what I'll do for now, we'll head back to the camp. Which is, oh, that's very close to us. These things respawn constantly. So they'll that will become a full satellite again at some point, which is a little bit of a oh they're actually on our campsite. This is our whole camp. This is where we're going to build the habitat. Um, it's a little bit of a um, you know um, suspension of dis uh, belief that a satellite would crash in the same spot continually day after day, but let it go because we need the parts and I don't really want to walk around the whole planet trying to find one or two wire pieces when I can just wait for a day or two and it will pop up there. Uh, where the hell is our... so that's that one. Is our okay there's our camp, there's a forge so let's go and forge some stuff I think we left some stuff in here. Oh, okay. So, a decent amount of iron, some copper, fair amount of lead, uh, magnesium, just one I think, and then we'll do those. Lead, that's the one that's really fast. I knew there was one that was super fast. I thought it was the iron. And so that's the lead. Vitals dropping. Literally one magnesium and four meat. So hopefully now we can make a full forge, and that will allow us to make a spade, which will allow us to make glass from the sand that we. Uh, farm. Oh, just see. Okay, that's done. No, that's still not done. It's still going. Six more. I'll come back for those. Um, let's see. Three. Let's have a look at the forges. Uh, I still don't have enough. Plutonium. Titanium. Ah, oh, titanium. Damn. That's our downfall, we don't have titanium. Um, we're going to have to try and find some titanium somewhere. Um, which I suspect will have to be a speed up video because we'll probably be wandering all over the planet just looking for stuff. Um, I don't know any uh, locations where the titanium would be here I'm sort of a little bit turned around um, but let's see what the habitat needs no, we still can't do the habitat either because we need glass and oh, we haven't got any glass or steel okay yeah so we're going to need to find titanium so that we can build that forge um, before we can get anything else um, so what am I do is just dump all of this stuff that I've got here. Um, I'll hold on to that one barrel because oh, there were two of those. That's great. Vitals dropping. Um, I don't know why you'd need those though when you can just make the the actual thing. Lithium. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get titanium from the mine. That would have been really useful. And we've got these. You get tons of these discs, um, but you need computers to be able to de-encrypt um, de them. Um, I don't know if that's got double ups in here or not. Um, let me look. No, no double ups, so I'll put the wire in there. 
Oh, I'll put that there's one. Uh, haven't got any of those. What are they? Crab ice. Um, so we have. No, that's the manufactured lithium. So I want to come up there. Uh, God, I'm running out of space already. What's that lead? Yeah, lead. Um, batteries. Yeah, we've got batteries in this one. Anything else in here we can dump? Um, yeah, we're kind of out of space, aren't we? Um, I want to try and get rid of a lot of this weight because I want to be able to carry a ton of titanium back with me when I find it finally. Um, so let's default, let's alpha sort this. Um, there's no bandages, we've got no potatoes in there. Basically, yeah, potato things, whatever they are. The potatoes, yeah. Um, Bottles, like apples, no apples. Um, trying to find space for these things. Uh, yeah, what I might do then is create another. Maybe creating just temporary debris shack, which is ten, and that should empty out most of the inventory there. Uh, I just need to find the space debris that I had before. I stored it in one of these somewhere, I think. No, oh, I've got five. Is that enough to build one? No, I need ten. Okay, but there's some cloth, so I'll chuck cloth in there, we'll chuck that in there, and we'll keep those two bandages just in case. Um, and I really should organise these so that all the metal's in one, all the food's in another, that type of thing, but I'll sort that out. I might do that off camera because that'll take a little time and it'll be really boring to watch. But now I just need a space debris. Um, I should take you apart and use you for space debris. Um, let's see if we can find some space debris somewhere here. There should be something. Oh. Sometimes these things seem to run away from you, and then other times it looks like they're just actually trying to get a decent run up on you. It's only a level one, so I'm not going to bother wasting my sword on this. Um, plus, I tend to seem to be winning this fight anyway. Problems dropping. I don't know why my vitals are dropping. I haven't done it. I've been hit. So they get to this point, and then they seem to want to run away from you. Um, but I'm not going to leave them to run away just so we can come back again and that is super annoying you hit them and they just like fly miles away yeah I see I don't even know where that went it's because I'm so hard it's amazing I don't know my own strength I don't know where that went it just flew didn't it absolutely rocketed somewhere oh well it doesn't matter um all right so we need to try and find the space debris that i had stored i suspect it's in that new one i made and if i can find where the hell i built the new one over there. Base debris. Let's put this into default sort order. See, we've got double ups in here. We've got batteries and everything, and wire and everything in here as well. Space debris. Okay, so let's go and. Because these are. Uh, these are sort of temporary, so let's just make. I thought my game was about to crash then. Um, these are super temporary so we will just add another one or two here and just ditch my entire inventory into them so I can go and find some 
Um, the good thing about the depositories is you can do that and dump the one on top of the other so you're not using up tons of space. Bottles dropping. Um, so we'll do this, we'll just spin that around, F, and we'll just do like 50%, and then we'll do one more. F, oh, sorry, F, 50%. Then we will just do that and drop all of this. Into here. Um, don't need to lots of water on me. Uh, second barrel. How much do these weigh? Four kilograms. Jesus. Five when they're full. So that's ten kilos. 24, okay, so that's 24. How should we the full? 4 kilos, 5 kilos total weight. So there's only another 2 kilos that will go on there, so we'll leave that for now, that's fine. Um, we'll ditch all this other stuff though. And we'll keep the meat because that's a really quick, easy way to get your health back up without having to use um, bandages which I can't make at the moment uh, I can make makeshift bandages but I don't have any of that stuff either um, so what we'll do here I'm just going to quickly make two more rocks go back to inventory and dump one of them in there and we'll keep the sword on us just in case we run into some crab or something that we can't outrun. But now we will go and find some vital story. But actually what I might do is I might end the video here and Go, what I'll do is I'll go running around trying to find the titanium and I might make a speed up video and I'll decide if I want to add it to the end of this video or not um, but it is literally just me walking around trying to find titanium at this point so I don't want to be making this video super long and super boring um, more so than it is already uh, so 45 minutes will give this one the end of video and um, I will catch you guys in the next one. If you liked the video, hit like. And if you didn't like the video, hit dislike. Um, either way, please leave me a comment uh, so I can improve on the content that I'm providing you. If you want any other games that you'd like the look of and I might have, then uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do to make a video on them. Uh, thanks for. <coughs> staying through the whole video if you want to subscribe hit subscribe take care